Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 5, Episode 23 of Adventure Time. Last we saw was the parties over. Ice King running around, getting pissed off that Princess Bubblegum won't be his girl, basically. Acting like it's her fault, and she should be upset about this at the end. And then he changes his mind and says, I think we could work this out. But in the midst of all this, he fights the party god. Looks like he possibly killed him. I don't think he's dead, just because I can't imagine that would have been the death of such a powerful foe. But the party god got his ass kicked, even though I would assume he's more powerful. Maybe the Ice King is that godly. But I mean, the fact that he beat him, I'd have to assume he's more powerful than a god. And we might have lost the guy, but we have the island girl. I don't know if she's going to come up again and we're jumping in. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions of this and all the other shows I do on the channel. If you're seeing this on YouTube, seasons ahead, probably even close to done with the entire series. Link at the end, Patreon, check it out. If not, jump it in. Season five, episode 23, Adventure Time. One last job. Daddy's got the mad, beautiful tail feathers. Mommy's taking up the rear all plain Jane styles. Creep. All ladybirds around the whole world are beautiful on the inside? Yes. Urgent. Hold still. <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? Is that Finn? <laughs> Jay Jr. Reassemble your old team. Gareth. The flying lettuce brothers. Tiffany. The Robin. The Baker Shard. The purest source of sugar in the known regions. Ocean's Eleven kind of heist. Destroy the tape. Mm. Uh. Wrapped it I out. I ain't no clown town snitch, baby. I don't want Finn hearing about this. Guys, is... you love me. What's happening? Got you, girl, in my face trap, and you love it. It's just gonna leave. Whoops, I gotta go. Latest. What you could do is take all the money out of the register and give it to the two guys out back by the dumpster. The Jake, the master, master returns. returns. It said Jake and Tiffany, best friends forever. Dog wakes to find its, uh, the dog wakes to find its mangy tail. Tiffany! <laughs> I'm coming, Jake! I'm coming! What does that slow-mo Finn know about this? Going to rob the candy kingdom. <laughs> okay, Bimo. <laughs> Nah, Bimo's covering for me. So what's the deal? Somebody got to him, because he's soft now. What the? Shh. Tiffany, when you get older, you're supposed to get into other stuff, like graphic design or pottery. Dude has my kid. My little Jake Jr. <coughs> that safe is locked up so tight, it makes me want to spit out my guts and cry about it. Why does Tiffany know everything Captain, about the vault? Bring me back the most delicious flavor they have. Yes, sir. I feel like that's the guy that does starchy. Oh. Huh? Banana milk. Oh, no, the forbidden flavor. Delicious. That was weird and creepy. Special training. They copied his voice. Just like old times, right, Jake? On a pale horse. Not now, Tiffany, come on. Very poetic, is it? <laughs> it sounds like the guy from Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> what insanity. Corridor of a thousand deaths. Why don't I trust Tiffany for some reason? Reminds me of Super Mario. Bowser's fireball chasing you. I did it! Throw me the baker's shard, and I'll let her go. Yeah, right, that's super dumb. Daddy! Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was you Tiffany. <laughs> now you chase me! You chase my dreams! I didn't know they all were. Jake Jr. Creepy. How did Jake do that? Got Who's it, driving? Tiffany. Give me my daughter. Ta-da! I totally double-crossed you. What the funky fresh, honey? I just wanted to be like you. I thought you'd be proud of me. <sighs> it tricked me. I like it. I'm 22. Right. I keep forgetting maths. Maybe the banana guards will get them. Yeah, they ain't getting them. Old and fat. Probably have a heart attack. Okay. Long now I'm really proud of you. 
great episode, guys. We get a little heist episode. We get Jake's daughter back. Jake Jr., even though it's his daughter, the voice of the actress from Flight of the Concords, a million other things. I cannot remember her name, but she's the voice. We also got a lot of other similar voices. The guy with the creepy head that looked like he had a Freddy Krueger shirt on, at least it had the pattern similar. Gotta be a reference. He looked creepy as hell, but they all betray him, and these are all like his Ocean's Eleven crew. We got the Flying Banana Brothers, who form together oddly and creepily and then can mimic voices the guy who is running the bananas with the stash sounded like the same guy that does the voice for starchy tiffany sounded just like me meow i'm pretty sure that's who it was it could be somebody else and i'm mistaking but i feel like that voice comes up more often than it just me meow and it was definitely me meow's voice i guess we're just jumping around using different things i'm assuming that doesn't have any relevance whatsoever but i'm just saying it in case it does great little chasing where jake hunts down the milk truck i had no clue my twist thought was that tiffany was going to turn on him we see that tiffany lifting weights and has some sort of revenge need against jake and I could see Tiffany being the one to betray them. But the Flying Banana Brothers do, and I cannot remember the name of the big face guy that was glamoring that girl. He was hypnotizing a girl in the beginning who's probably still at the restaurant. I wonder if that's going to come up again because that'd be pretty funny too if at some point they just acknowledge that that girl is still at the restaurant. I can't imagine these people wouldn't come up again. We have many seasons to dive in to Jake's old crew. The daughter's being told stories by the mom about this and his kids are still aging rapidly. But I want to jump into the next one because I'm curious where we go from here. I'm almost thinking like would they continue this one because he said me and Finn are going to go and mess these guys up for stealing the thing. I doubt that's going to be a thing, but I'm kind of curious, thinking maybe they will, but they probably won't. At the end, Jake is saying, you can't keep doing this. I'm getting old. I'm fat and old and blah, blah, blah. Jake literally goes on missions that save the world. So I can't imagine something like that would wear him thin, but I wonder if he's going to start just showing his age because now he's a father and his kids are older and stuff like that. I don't know, but we're jumping into the next one. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions of this and other shows I do. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are seasons ahead on Patreon. Check the link in front of me. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.